Hi everybody, this is Todd Brannon, the Accidental Excelist, and this is uh, video number one of a series of tutorials on how to build a CRUD database type application or tool in Microsoft Access. We're going to be building a customer database with a front end uh, set of forms to make the user experience more you know, software tool like and if you didn't see the uh, introduction video you might want to go check that out i kind of give you the rundown and summarize the final uh, application show you how it works and what we're going to be building so the first thing we need to do in order to build that is we need to have um, some data so i would like to have like a database of mock data or fictitious data and i'm not going to key in um, data one by one. So I use this uh, tool, uh, this website called mockroo.com right here. You just go to um, that website and they have a free version for a thousand rows and um, I use that. So uh, you can use it for free if you wanted to use it for you know future projects where you need it more than that. They've got a couple of different packages here for pricing if you're like a developer or something like that. So um, go back to mockaroo.com and then you can start, uh, they've got like a default setup here. Um, so I'll just kind of show you how I do this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove ID. We are gonna have a customer ID in our database, but we're gonna create it from access. So I just kind of want to change a few things here to, um, kind of go by you know my naming convention I don't know that this is necessarily a big deal but uh, you can see here they already have the type for first name and a couple of these will have to adjust for our purposes email uh, works really well for us um, actually I'm just gonna have email address and then uh, I'm not gonna use gender I'm gonna change this to um, what do we need sign up date And then I'll go over here where gender is. If I click on this little folder icon in the type field, it'll bring up this window here. And then I just kind of use the search. It gives you all the different types of data that you can choose from. Um, I want date, so I'll just click in date here or type in date in that search. And sure enough, it gives me this, so I'll click on that. And then I can also change the start range. I'll just start with, um, you know, we'll start with, I don't know, I guess 2018, right? Uh, January 1st 2018 through today which is April 7th 2018 I like it in that format I'm okay with that um, you can actually kind of change that uh, accordingly here um, then I want to change IP address to um, what let's see address and then this needs to be I need to change this data type and I'll just continue let's see address Okay, I see all um, street address. That's what I want. And then let's see, I need state. Actually, I'm going to go here. I type in state. It gives me a couple options here. I'm going to go with the abbreviation and um, generate only U.S. locations. That's fine. I'll I'll go with that. You can do whatever you want. This is there's really no rule to this. Uh, we're just generating some bulk data to populate our you know our database for the project um, so now i want um, postal code and i'm not putting a space here just that's a naming convention thing i i think i'll just um, we're probably going to type these in one by one anyway when we create our database table so it's really not a huge deal here so i'm going to go find uh, postal oops and here we go and then um, well, country's not relevant, but since I did use that, um, I'm going to go ahead and go with that and add that to the database. Uh, actually, you know what? I won't have the full country name. Um, phone number. I think I had phone in that database. And so there we go. Gives us the format we want. I'm good with that. Let me see here. All right, so I think that gets me where I want to be. If you scroll down a little bit, it gives you a thousand rows. That's the maximum for free. I just go with that. And I want to um, export it as a CSV because we're going to import. I'm going to show you how to import a text file into um, 
access, but it's got all these different kind of data formats. You could even do Excel if you wanted to, but we'll do CSV. And I'm going to include the header and then you can preview it or you can just download. So I'll just go ahead and download and we'll have our file. And in the next video, we will open up and create our database file in Access and we're going to import this data. So see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.